Good morning, everybody. Nez Nation, welcome to the live stream. It's so great to see you guys. Come on in. Come on in. Obviously, some really, really big news, breaking news that just happened in the past 24 hours. If you're new here and you have no idea what's going on, we went live yesterday and talked about Judge Scott McAfee's ruling and how he essentially said that it's either Fanny goes or Nathan Wade goes. Well, as soon as he issued that ruling, let me know if you guys can hear me okay, if the sound is okay. Thank you so much, Chad Hudson, for the super sticker. Oh, really quickly, too. Thank you, Chad Hudson. You're awesome. Really quickly, all super chats, all super stickers, stick around to the end. I'm going to give you massive shout outs, especially if you have questions. Stick around to the end. If you haven't already, please make sure you tap that thumbs up. Thank you, Lion Dog Pony Soldier. You rock. Stick around to the end because I'm going to give shout outs to everybody who gave super chats and super stickers and new members. Welcome new members. If you're interested in the truth, objectivity, live breaking, top stories, current events, that's not covered by legacy media, not covered by CNN, not covered by NBC. In the pinned comment is our free email newsletter. I highly recommend you sign up for that. It's free. Welcome, everybody. It's so good to see you guys. Come on in. Come on in. So the judgment yesterday uh, obviously was not one that I think um, did a service to justice. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Are you happy with the ruling yesterday or are you unhappy? Give me a thumbs up if you like the ruling. Give me a thumbs up emoji in the comments right now in the chat. Or give me a thumbs down emoji if you were unhappy with the outcome of that trial. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I personally, me, definitely I give it to, you know, in the old school, uh, Siskel and Ebert. Oh, I miss those guys. I miss the old days. I'm starting to get more nostalgic as I get older. I give it two massive thumbs downs. And I'm seeing a lot of thumbs downs right now in the chat, in the comments. Yeah. So I, I think it's pretty universal. I'm kind of shocked at some of the, um, well, I guess I'm not shocked by some of the far left leaning uh, uh, representatives and senators who are saying, oh yes, justice was served. No, it wasn't. Justice was not served. Um, she should have been at the very least disqualified at the very least dismissed at the, and I think she should have been charged because she lied under oath. She is a swamp vermin through and through. She's a crooked individual, narcissistic, only thinks about herself. Cash money G, Fannie Willis. Well, things moved very, very quickly. And you have to ask yourself, why are things moving so quickly? So we have two letters that we're going to go through. We have a letter of resignation. I mean, it was fast from Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade offered his letter of resignation within literally, it seemed like within, it's almost like he had that drafted and ready. It's almost like he had that entire letter drafted and ready. I wonder if you guys think the same thing. I mean, not to be conspiratorial, but like, you know, I showed you that video yesterday with the Pitbull Sadow's response, that video of her smirking and winking in court when she acted like a complete unprofessional in the courtroom. Um, I, I showed you that video and that was like months, a, a month ago. I wonder if she knew there's a part of me that almost, almost feels like, was this some kind of scripted deal? I have no idea. I'm also going to share with you a quick interview with Bill Kauser because nothing is over. Sadow says it's not over. Sadow has a lot of plans. The pit bull has a lot of plans. Uh, Bill Kausert, senator, uh, uh, and he, he was the head of the committee of the Senate uh, hearing. She, he's got a lot to say. I mean, coming up, you got to stick around for that. As always, Super Chats, Super Stickers, I will get to you. But let's get to the very first letter that we're going to go through together. I mean, this was like literally on a dime. This came out right away from Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade. So remember... So remember, um, it was it was actually Nathan Wade. It was actually the judge who said that either Fanny goes or her office goes. So it has to be either Fanny or her whole office. And we went live and talked about this. Remember what I said? There's no way in a million years. This was probably all coordinated. 
there's no way in a million years that Cash Money G Fanny is going to leave this case. She loves the spotlight. She loves, she's a narcissist. Her ego has run amok. She absolutely has no impartiality whatsoever. The appearance of impropriety is abundant. And what Judge McAfee called an odor of mendacity. There is an odor of mendacity surrounding this case. That speaks volumes, okay? That actually speaks volumes in his report, the odor of mendacity, which basically in, in a nutshell, what he's saying when he says there's an odor of mendacity and Bill Kauser, the Senator from Georgia talks about this in the interview that I'm going to show. Basically what happens is, is that what Bill Kauser is saying is that, that when he says odor of mendacity, basically you can't trust anything that Fanny said. You can't trust a thing that Fanny Willis said. And so uh, it's really interesting to me um, to see, uh, uh, you know, how the different reactions and different um, opinions of those who are involved in the case, directly involved in the case, indirectly involved with the case. Uh, it's really, really interesting to see how that uh, is starting to play out. Okay. So this is the letter right here. I want to get kind of close. Let's go through this letter. And then I'm also going to share with you Fanny's letter. Fanny wrote a letter yesterday too. So not only is not only is uh, not only is um, not only is F did did Nathan Wade write a letter, but Fanny Fanny wrote a letter too. So we're going to go through both of these together. Okay, so this is from Wade and Campbell Firm. Okay, let me know if you guys can see it. Okay, on the uh, screen. This is from Wade and Campbell. So this is Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor who I call him uh, Nathan the Philandering Wade. The guy's had more affairs than Elizabeth Taylor. Um, he uh, he wrote this letter literally to the T. I mean, seconds it almost seemed like this came out. Very fast. It came out extremely fast. American Girl, good morning. Great to see you. I might need to make American Girl a moderator because there's a lot of trolls right now in the chat um american girl are you willing to be a moderator let's see i'm gonna make you a moderator anyway so you can uh kind of do me a favor and do me a favor and kind of keep an eye on some of the trolls out there american girl you now have a blue wrench congratulations you too can have a blue wrench too if you show me that you're consistently here, you're engaging with the community, you're a part of the community, I will make you a moderator as well. And make your case in the comments. Why should I make you a moderator? Um, if you think you're up to the task, I would. I have no problem making you a moderator, but I need people to basically get rid of the trolls and the spam. Uh, I welcome all views as long as they're constructive. I don't, you don't have to agree with me, guys. I don't care if you agree with me. As a matter of fact, I think what makes this country great is what Tucker Carlson and Chris Cuomo, you could say diametrically opposed views, um, come together and talk and still have respect for each other. Look, I can disagree with you. You can disagree with me. That's what makes America great. Free debate, free uh, uh, engaging uh, speech. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing with me. Just be respectful. That's all. Okay. So the so this is this is via hand delivery. The honorable. I don't know if honorable is a little is a bit much. Um, Nathan Wade writes, Dear District Attorney Willis, the furtherance, the furtherance, whatever the hell that means, of the rule of law and democracy is and always has been the North Star of our combined efforts in the prosecution. Uh, let me go back a little bit here. I didn't want to do that. Go back. In the prosecution, I apologize of those who are alleged to have attempted to overthrow the results of Georgia's 2020 presidential election. Okay, so he's basically coming up with woo-woo language that absolutely means nothing. That absolutely means nothing. Uh, saying that... <laughs> He's saying, he's saying that democracy and the rule of law has always been the North Star of our combined efforts, which is eh, absolute BS. 
What has been their North Star is self-interest, self-perpetuation, self-monetarily gain, narcissism, and ego. They benefited financially. There was definitely a conflict of interest. There's no doubt about that. Super Chad, Super Stickers, stick around to the end. I'm going to give you massive shout outs and answer your questions. This is all this is all just legalese BS so far. As directed by the order in the state of Georgia versus Donald J. Trump, I hereby offer my resignation effective immediately as special prosecutor for the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. Although the court found that the defendant failed to meet their burden of proving, look at how he puts that in there. Although the court found that the defendants failed to meet their burden of proving that the district attorney acquired an actual conflict of interest, I am offering my resignation. Even though I didn't do anything wrong, I'm going to offer my resignation in the interest of democracy <laughs> in dedication to the American public, because that's what Nathan Wade, philandering Wade stands for. That's what Nathan mini cash, mini me G Wade stands for. <laughs> He stands for the American public <laughs> and to move this case forward as quickly as possible. Okay, that's the key phrase right there. So that second paragraph at the very bottom, and this is kind of the whole reason I wanted to share this is because why we've been talking about this for a long time, ever since this case really broke uh, and all the trials started being aired live on television is what has been happening with this cons this consortium that I think is led by people like Schumer, Obama, Pelosi, Michelle Obama, uh, Weasel Schiff, and, and all the like? What's been happening? What's been happening for uh, a, a long time, ever since, and now especially since Trump is leading in the polls, the national polls? He's not leading by much. But if there was an election held today, I'd say 90% of legal experts would say Trump would win if the election was held today. A lot of things can happen. Anything can change. God knows they're going to throw more of the kitchen sink at this guy. But one of the purposes of my channel is to expose hypocrisy and raise awareness. Why? Because mainstream media won't cover this stuff. Mainstream media is going to see, you see what, you see what, here's what mainstream media's narrative is. You see, they're going after the black man. You see, they're going after the black woman. It has nothing to do with skin tone. It has nothing to do with a trait that you have zero control over. This is a meritocracy. This is America. I love my country. The best idea wins. It's not about ego. It's not about narcissism. You hire the best person for the job, the one who worked the hardest, free enterprise, free market, competition. The market decides. Okay? That's the key. That's the key to all of this. But no, the narrative with mainstream media, the narrative with uh, legacy media is, no, see, the black man, they, they went after the black man. This was all race. Trump is doing his same old tricks again. No, we're after truth, okay? And their narrative is completely hypocritical. And I can't take it anymore. As somebody who loves his country, born and raised here, and has kids, and I want to see this country flourish for thousands and thousands of years, I can't stand to see this anymore. So the reason I'm saying I'm focusing, just, just bear with me here. The reason I'm focusing so much on this sentence is because they're doing everything in their power. The reason this resignation letter, and we're going to go through Fanny's letter as well. The reason we're going through this letter so fast. Hey, Red Dog, good to see you. Is that, thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. They want to get this thing cooking as fast as possible. That's what they want to do. They want to get this thing cooking as fast as possible because guess what's happening in less than eight months? In less than eight months, there is going to be an election and they are scared. They're scared. Why? Because he's winning. He's actually winning right now. He's ahead. So we have to, by the way, if you want to engage in the greatest online community on planet earth, make sure you tap that thumbs up, please. Takes you a nanosecond and it really helps us spread that awareness. Make sure that you, uh, please, by all means, make sure that you just subscribe. That's all you got to do. You just got to be a subscriber and then you're in. Okay. 
So the reason why this came out so fast is because they want to get this trial going, which everybody is saying, even Jeffrey Tubin or Tobin, whatever the hell you want to call him, former federal prosecutor. He just went live earlier today. He's a former federal prosecutor. He says that it's almost impossible for this trial to happen before. Monique, you're going to get banned, okay? It's not clickbait. As a matter of fact, you're done, okay? It's There's no clickbait. We're talking, what's clickbait about this? There's nothing clickbait about this. I'm talking about the letter of resignation right here. I'm going to share with you Fanny's letter as well. Do you, I mean, what? there's nothing clickbait about this. Um, where's my moderators at? Get rid of these people who are just trolling. It's so ridiculous. I don't clickbait, okay? I value my audience. I deliver the goods. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. You don't like it? It's a free country. This isn't communist China. You can choose a different channel. Later, bye, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Okay, care to comment? I'm going to make you a moderator. Let me see if I can do that. Hold on. Care to comment says, will you make a good, you promise me you'll make a good moderator? What happened to American Girl? I made her a moderator. Yeah, get rid of these people who keep just trolling, please. I'd really appreciate that. Who else wants to be a moderator? I'll make you a moderator. I mean, these people don't want to hear the truth. It's all a black thing. You know what it is? It's just a black thing. You're a racist. No, it has nothing to do with skin tone. Okay. It has absolutely nothing to do with skin tone. You know why? Because skin tone is a trait that you have zero control over. Zero. This is a meritocracy. This is the greatest country on earth. Loretta, I'm going to make you one too. Hold on. Let me see. Loretta. Loretta's here all the time. Hold on, Loretta. You're going to be a moderator as well. Okay. Yeah, get rid of these trolls. I'm sick and tired of these people, man. For crying out loud. I work my butt off for this channel. I bring the truth. Objectivity. You decide for yourself. And the beautiful thing is, you don't like it. See you later. You can choose another channel. There's plenty of channels who talk about the stuff that I talk about. Get on my last nerve up in here. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's get back to this. Um. That's why they're, they're moving this so quickly. I'm proud of the work our team has accomplished in investigating and indicting and litigating this case. Oh, my God. How could you be proud? How could you be proud of this work? Are you out of your mind? You're proud of this work? Okay, so hold on a second. You're proud of this work, okay? You're proud of this work. You essentially lied to the American public. You lied to the beginning of your relationship. Cell phone hawk data shows you were at her house more than 35 times, over 12,000, 20,000, God knows how many text messages. By the way, real quick question for you, chat, in the comments. Why, if they are so on the side of truth and we're here for the American public and we're here for justice, it's our North Star. Why don't you share you and Fanny's texts? Hey, Philandering Wade. Hey, Nathan, Minnie, me, Cash Money, G, Fanny, Willis, Wade. How come you don't share your text messages? Why don't you share them with the world? Make them public. So then we can know for sure. That would Remember what uh, Bill Cowsert said in the Senate trial? Do you guys remember what uh, uh, Bill Cowsert said? Bill Cowsert said, hey, that would, and Ashley Merchant said, absolutely. Hey, that would absolutely, okay, disprove everything the defense has to say. Show us the text messages. You really think this is your North Star? You really mean what you say? That you're proud of your work? Show us the text messages, you lion, lion, heathen. L-L-H. You're an L-L-H. You're a lion, lion, heathen. Everybody type in heathen in the comments in the chat right now, because that's what we're dealing with. Hey, if you haven't already, please tap that thumbs up. Love y'all. I am sure the case and the team will be in good hands. <clears throat> Wrong. Moving forward, and justice will be served. You and the team on this case <laughs> and the entire office have my prayers for your safety and your success in the pursuit of justice. Signed, Nathan J. Wade, Esquire. I ask you a very serious question. We're going to get to Fanny's letter. 
Then I'm going to show you an excerpt. I want to show you an excerpt of an interview with Senator Bill Kauser. He has plans for Fannie. He's not finished. He's not done. Also, I'll show you a quick response from uh, Pitbull Sadow to this letter. To this letter. He is going to, he responded to this letter. I'm going to show you the Pitbull, my man, who we're going to have on the show. Maybe not soon, depending on when this trial takes place, but we're going to have him on the show. Thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate that. Heathen. That's right. Clickbait my ass. Um, so, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I have a question to pose for you. If Nathan Wade and Fannie Willis were a different skin tone, I don't want to say it too out loud because guess what? YouTube will delete me. Rumble, I don't know. Rumble's starting to get a little bit iffy as well. I love you, Rumble, but I love you a lot more than YouTube, but everything gets posted here on YouTube because this is sort of our HQ for now. That's why I want you to sign up for our free newsletter. It's free in the pinned comment. Just click on that link, uh, click on the button newsletter, bada boom, bada bing, you're in. Retired state trooper, I love law enforcement. All my best students when I was working in the public sector years ago as a professor, all my best students were law enforcement, firefighters, investigators, detectives. I love my law enforcement. You guys, without law and order, to quote Aristotle, you have chaos. Look at what's happening in Philadelphia. Look at what's happening in Portland. Look at what's happening in LA. Look what's happening in Chicago. Look what's happening in New York. I could go on and on. What if Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade were a different, maybe lighter skin tone. Is it all about melatonin or melanin? Is that what it's all about? You think this would happen? You think they wouldn't face disbarment? You think they wouldn't face uh, 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 handcuffs? I guarantee you if they were a different skin tone, they would. Guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's not even guaranteed. It's guaranteed, y'all. Okay, so that's, uh, that's uh, uh, by the way, stick around Super Chats and Super Stickers. I'm going to give you sh all shout outs towards the end of the stream. Okay, so that's Fanny, or that's Nathan Wade. Okay, and so he resigns. And here we have the Honorable, this is the Honorable, Fanny Cash Money G. Willis. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Cash Money G, Fanny. I'm after your money. I don't care about the people. Willis, the ultimate narcissist, the apprentice of Kami Kamala, the Ugandan giant Harris. This is her letter. This is her response. March 15th, 2024. Dear Mr. Wade, I received your resignation letter and I accept it. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I mean, this is, you can't write an SNL skit that is this preposterous. This is preposterous. Absolutely absurd. I accept it effective immediately. I compliment you for the professionalism and dignity you have shown over the last 865 days. <laughs> um, translation, thank you for taking care of the kitty cat. As you have endured threats against you and your family, as well as unjustified attacks in the media and in court on your reputation as a lawyer. Are you condoning lies? You condone lies, the honorable Fanny Willis? You condone lying then. Basically what she's saying is, I condone lying. I will always remember and, and will remind everyone that you were brave enough to step forward. <laughs> Oh my God. Give me a laughing emoji if you think this is an, give me a clown emoji if you think this is an absolute joke. Give me a laughing or a clown emoji right now in the comments. Holy macadamia nut. These people need to be jailed. They need to be jailed immediately. The real A dog in the house. Good to see you, brother. Hey, how are you, sir? Great. Happy, uh, happy Saturday to you. Hope you're doing well. Check out his channel. He's got an amazing channel. Uh, love his thumbnails, love his uh, content. Great job, man. Good to see you, brother. I hope you're doing really, really well. Give me a clown emoji or a laughing emoji. Okay, I see the emojis. Fantastic. Good job. 
Fantastic. I love it. And don't forget, I'm getting to all every super chat, every super sticker, every new member will be recognized and given a massive shout out. Stick around. Um, you were brave enough to step forward on the investigation and take on the investigation and prosecution of the allegations that the defendants in this case have engaged in conspiracy to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election. Others who are considered were understandably concerned for the safety of themselves and their families. Uh, translation, I couldn't con them into taking me to Aruba. I couldn't con them into taking me to Miami. I couldn't con them into taking me to Jamaica, Baruba. Ooh, I want to take you to Baruba, Bahamas. Come on, pretty mama. I'll do the Elvis version. Oh, uh, Jamaica, Aruba. Come on, pretty mama. Don't argue with me. Elvis is the greatest of all time. Never will be better. Never has been. Love you, Elvis. I know you can hear me up there. Um, okay. So others who were considered <laughs> were understandably concerned. Oh, my God. This is awful. You were the one who had the courage to accept the role, even though you did not seek it. Oh, thank you so much for taking me to Jamaica, you big stud. Thank you so much. You are an outstanding advocate. Oh, my God, this is awful. In the 865 days you served on this case, you completed a thorough investigation that required the use of a special purpose grand jury to compel the testimony of witnesses inside and outside of Georgia, including litigating in eight states, the District of Columbia, the U.S. Supreme Court, to obtain critical testimony, which was all composed, organized, and executed by the Obama Consortium. These people do not act alone. There is heads of this chair. There is a, there is a board. There is a board of Democratic demons that organized this. There's a reason why she flew to the White House and met with Kamala. There's a reason why she conspired with Liz Cheney over the J6, January 6 uh, 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 debacle uh, trial. And so, and so this is this is this is not at her acting alone. This is not in truth of the justice. This is not uh, yeah, alleged. Thank you. Thank you, Pat Cat. Alleged. <laughs> alleged. Yeah, you're exactly right. It's all alleged. You know, everything's alleged for crying out loud. It's all alleged. Oh my God, these people are just demons. I've worked with them, y'all. I've been commissioned to Washington through universities. Many, many, I've met these people. I know these people. They are rotten to the core. Rotten from the inside out. They don't, this is why I'm doing this channel. This is the most consequential year of our republic. It's never been, the stakes have never been this higher. Since 1861, the stakes have never been this higher. This is the future of our country. Yeah, please tap that thumbs up. Thank you so much, Loretta. You're awesome. Loretta, you're the you're a you're a badass mod. I love it, Loretta. Thank you. Okay, let's hear some more BS, shall we? You led a team that secured a true bill of indictment against 19 individuals. Oh, it's 19 defendants. For some reason, I thought it was 18 who are accused of violating Georgia law to undermine the 2020 election for the former president of the United States. You've successfully litigated in the United States District Court and the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit to ensure that Fulton County citizens will be the jurors who decide in this case. Signed, please accept, oh, please, please accept my sincere gratitude on behalf of the citizens of Fulton County, Georgia, for your patriotism, courage, and your dedication to justice, I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Uh, by the way, did you get my text? Can you meet me at my house at midnight? <laughs> Holy macadamia nut. Is that garbage or is that garbage? Somebody put a trash emoji. Put a big fat trash emoji in the comments right now. Do that. Why didn't you recuse yourself, Cash Money G Fanny? Why didn't you do the right thing and take yourself off the case, which every legal expert out there is saying 
that her reputation at the Fulton County District Attorney's Office is so shrouded in unethical behavior, in uh, smear, in a lack of impartiality, a lack of fairness and objectivity. You should do the right thing, Cash Money G. Fannie Willis. You should do the right thing and recuse yourself. What you should do is go down to the jailhouse and say, you know what? I think the judge made a mistake. Put me in handcuffs because I deserve to be behind bars. That's what you should do. That would be the right thing to do. You should dis you should be disbarred. You lied under oath. Terrence Bradley was an absolute joke. Yurti and Jaeger, for some reason, we didn't we didn't get any uh, anywhere with their substantive eyewitness testimony. You know, this is how the law works. You have to prove, right? And one of the ways in which uh, you're able to prove a, a defendant or uh, or what have you innocence or guilty is by having corroboration testimony from witnesses. You need a witness, right? Well, in this case, we had three witnesses. We had Yurti, her best friend. We had Jaeger, another prosecutor from Cobb County. So she has ethos, credibility. And you also had Terrence Bradley, who essentially said absolutely, which was very poignantly pointed out by the Pitbull Sado. That was not a speculative word. That's a definitive word. There was no speculation there. Okay. What about Manny Aurora? Manny Aurora said he overheard uh, a, a conversation, and he had a conversation with Nathan Wade. Manny Aurora is a professor at a law university. Manny Aurora is a practicing attorney. So he has ethos. So he has credibility. Thank you so much, Real Aid Dog, for the $5 super chat. The man. Go check out his channel. He's got an awesome channel. Why didn't you take yourself off the case? Why did you immediately congratulate Nathan Philander and Wade? Lion, Lion, Heathen, LLH, baby. Give me LLH in the comments right now. Big, capital LLH. Lion, Lion, Heathen. I might get t-shirts made. Should I get t-shirts made? I want to get a t-shirt made where, you know how Taylor Swift has her, nope, not again, for Trump. I want to have the same thing with Tombstone Biden, with Tombstone one foot in the grave Biden. Nope, not again, with him like, you know, basically falling into a grave. I'm going to make that shirt. It's going to be a bestseller. I promise. And I'll put all the proceeds back into the channel so I can keep creating free content. You guys think that's a good idea for a shirt? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to do that. Okay. So we got Lion Ass, Lion, Lion, Heathen, number one, Lion, Lion, Heathen, number two, Lion, Lion, Heathen, all across the board. Now, this is actually really cool, I think. Um, this is what, uh, I want to show you what, uh, the Pitbull said, which, I mean, I think is really interesting that the Pitbull said this, um, the Pitbull said he responded to this, uh, he responded to this letter by Nathan Wade. And I, I want to kind of show this real fast. He responded to this letter and Essentially, he says, I want to show this really quickly. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. One second. I apologize. One second here. Yeah. So this is what he says right here. And he posted this on X. Uh, you can follow me on X too, y'all. I am Professor Nez on X. Make sure you follow me. So he posted this on X, Steve the Pitbull Sadow. He says, Willis praises Wade's professionalism, quote, and dignity, quote. I love how he puts that in quotes. The court says, however, quote, an odor of mendacity, i.e. untruthfulness, tendency to lie, remains. Quote, reasonable questions, quote, about whether Willis and Wade testified truthfully, about the timing of their relationship, quote, further underpin the finding of an appearance of impropriety and the need to make proportional efforts to cure it. That's the key phrase right there. He's taking that straight out of Judge McAfee's ruling. 
There is definitely an appearance of impropriety. So I don't know how Fanny can say your objectivism, your professionalism, your dignity. I mean, she, I think, I genuinely think, you guys, I'm not even kidding you. I think we have an individual who's a sociopathic absolute nightmare running amok in our criminal justice system. I don't think she actually, I think she actually believes the stuff that comes out of her mouth. When she was yelling at Ashley Merchant and it's a lie, it's a lie. You guys are liars. And she was being so rude and unprofessional, right? I truly believe in my heart of hearts that this woman is a sociopath. And she actually thinks she's telling the truth. She's so full of heathenism. She's such a liar, so full of BS. It just spews out of her pores. And she thinks it's the truth. I know people like this. I've known people like this. Holy macadamia nut. So the pit bull is saying that, you know, this isn't over by a long shot. Okay. Now, I want to share something that I think is really, really cool. I think this is really, really cool. I want to share this interview that was given by, this was given by, um, this was given by Bill Cowsert. Okay. Uh, okay. So I want to share this little cow cert. Let me see if we can get rid of this ad real fast. I thought this was really interesting. And this is really a kind of, um, this is really a kind of demonstration that this is far from over. Let me know. It is the chairman of the committee leading that probe. And he's joining me now. So, by the way, we reached out to both Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. So far, we've not heard any response. They are welcome to come on the show anytime for an interview. Uh, so Listen to this, y'all. Where does your investigation stand right now? Well, we're doing a factual investigation of these just explosive allegations of very troubling behavior by the prosecutor, uh, improper uh, conflicts of interest, and also financial irregularities. The problem with this is that it just undermines the public's confidence in the fairness and the impartiality of our criminal justice system. We're going to try to get to the facts, uh, dig into the evidence here, and, and we also welcome Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis to testify in front of our committee because they have a lot of explaining to do. They're welcome to do that, but we're going to look to see if there are ways we can change Georgia law to amend current laws or create laws to provide rules, guardrails against this type of improper behavior by prosecutors. Right. And, you know, I, I'm interested. You heard some testimony about cell phone data showing that Nathan Wade had 2,000 calls and 10,000 text messages to Fannie Willis. The location of those, those really matter in this case, right, for you? The location, that, we, that evidence came before our committee, and I think most of that was excluded from court. Right. All along the way, Ms. Willis has been trying to uh, be an obstructionist on the evidence. She's tried to quash every subpoena seeking this information and prohibit it from getting into evidence. She uh, refused to testify in the divorce case where she would have had to answer under oath uh, the nature of their relationship, and it very quickly settled after that. Intimidated, in fact, Mr. Wade's spouse by saying it was uh, an interference or an obstruction of justice for her to even ask for Ms. Willis's uh, testimony in that case. We saw the cell phone data, and it is real hard to explain 12,000 texts and phone calls and cell phone location showing Mr. Wade at the same location she was at from, say, 11-something p.m. to 4.50 a.m. Uh, on some occasions. So there's a lot of evidence that the judge didn't get to see that establishes that relationship and when it began. Uh, we don't really care so much about that. It doesn't matter when that started, in my view. It continued at some period of time while he was hired directly under her supervision and with her having sole approval of his invoices and bills up to $35,000 per month for his assistance in this investigation. So I, I'm curious, uh, you, you know, what is the end result of your investigation? So the judge found an appearance of impropriety, but chose to split his decision. Uh, could you remove the Fulton County DA? What's the end result of this? No, no, that's, that's beyond the scope of our authority. Our uh, charge is to get to the bottom of the facts, to explore the evidence, find out what 
uh, you know, what conduct occurred here and are there any financial improprieties, but more importantly, to find out are there changes in Georgia law to restore public confidence in criminal justice? The judge expressed his frustration. He said that the, the defendants had not met their burden of proof. There wasn't enough evidence to support a clear conflict of interest. And that's the financial conflict of interest they're referencing. He also found out that there was uh, a lack of truthfulness uh, right. in, on the part of Ms. Willis. And I, I loved the term uh, in the in, in his order. He said there was an odor of mendacity. I had to look that term up to make sure I knew what mendacity meant. I know veracity is truthfulness. Mendacity is the opposite. It is okay. untruthfulness. So you've got the judge in this case saying her testimony is not believable. Her uh, arguments before the court, which all lawyers have a, a duty of candor or truthfulness to the court, is not believable. Uh, and that she was unprofessional in her testimony. That's why he was trying to give her an out and suggested strongly she remove herself from this case and her entire office, but at the very least to get Mr. Wade off the case, which fortunately at least he uh, did the responsible thing and agreed to yeah, yeah. resign immediately. Senator Cowsert, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for. Sorry about that. Can you can you guys hear me right now? So, really, really interesting. Um, this thing is far from over. This thing is absolutely far from over. So essentially what Bill Cowsert, so remember, just to give a little bit of context here, the Georgia Senate committee, which is headed by Bill Cowsert, okay, I commend him. I love his accent. I've told you guys this before. Um, that committee subpoenaed Ashley Merchant. And essentially what they can do is they can go after Fannie, not disqualify. They don't have any constitutional right to, um, uh, go uh, and disqualify her from uh, pursuing the inter, uh, the election interference case, but they can pursue other grounds. And you heard what he said. We might even have to create certain quote unquote guardrails or quote unquote new Georgia laws that really, you know, instill and reinstill confidence back into the judicial system of the state of Georgia. So these guys have power. They can go after Fannie. There's definitely going to be an appeal. And guess what? Did you hear what uh, Senator Kausert said? He said, we might even subpoena. We welcome. We welcome Nathan Wade's testimony. We welcome Fannie Willis's uh, testimony. Fannie Cash Money G. Willis's testimony. Holy macadamia nut. Could you imagine what that is going to be like? I mean, I'm sure she's not going to pull another, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm sure she's not going to pull another, uh, a rampant, out of control, unprofessional ghetto performance like she did last time. Uh, I'm sure she's been coached and they've probably told her that that was a bad look, not only for you, but for the Fulton County DA. It was a terrible look for everybody involved. Um, so she won't she won't act a fool like she did in the uh, in the hearing. But I mean, you know, your boy Nez is going to go live and talk about that. You know, we're going to we're going to uh, live stream that one billion percent. And we're going to give the best up to date, up to uh, uh, breaking news. <coughs> Excuse me on all of that. So I'm very, very excited that um, there's still some people who actually care about justice. There's still some people who are not just going to let this DEI affirmative action hire. Uh, which I have called multiple, multiple times, DEI is America's worst idea because it's basing every decision on discrimination, pure and simple. A trait that you have zero control over, such as the tone of your skin, is not a criteria, a valid criteria for any, for any kind of decision in this country, whether it's hiring, electing, whether it's appointing, et cetera, et cetera. And it's infected every institution. It's infected every single institution. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think that uh, the appeals are going to go in the favor of uh, the defense? You think Sadow is going to uh, organize something? I mean, Sadow is not finished. The pit bull is not finished by far. Do you think Cowsert's going to subpoena Fannie Willis, subpoena Nathan Wade? Do you think that, uh, and by the way, I, I see a couple of you guys in the chat 
mentioning, uh, I see a couple of you guys in the chat mentioning uh, uh, Governor Kemp. Yes, Governor Kemp, I talked about this yesterday. Um, I highly recommend you watch that stream. I'll leave it in the end screen. Also, just go to my channel and watch it. But uh, Governor Kemp did pass uh, uh, and just signed a new bill giving oversight to district attorneys and essentially having power over them and oversight over them and even potentially removing them. So if you want to find out the latest on that, you know you got to subscribe. You know you got to tap that thumbs up. Uh, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's get to some super chats. Let's get so so moving forward really quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna give all super chats, all super stickers are gonna get shout outs right now. If you have a question, any new members, I'm gonna get to all of you right now. Uh, I'll try to get to some other questions. Obviously, super chats and super stickers get first priority. If there's other questions, stick around. I want to answer your questions. But moving forward, I just want to say really quickly, this thing is far from over. It's not over, y'all. It's not even close to over. Never mind the fact that the election probably won't move for uh, the election. The trial definitely probably won't move forward for a very, very long time. Even though these guys are trying really, really hard to expedite this trial, they're trying so hard to get this thing cooking and get it fast as possible. Um, it's really, this is really far from over. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's not over at all. And so there's so much more to come. Um, the, the jury selection, which I just don't, here's what, and every legal expert agrees with this. I don't see, let me know in the comments of what you think. I don't see how they can ever find. So every American citizen, whether you're a former president, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't matter. Every American citizen is afforded and entitled to the right to a fair and impartial trial, due process. I just don't understand, especially after this debacle, after Fannie Cash Money G. Willis's speech at the church, which actually in the audience of that church were potential jurors. How in the world? I mean, the impropriety is this, just, just touching the surface. How in the world are gonna, they going to ever be able to pick a fair, impartial, unbiased jury? The case needs to be dismissed. There's no doubt about it. But remember, the Obama coalition is a very powerful coalition. It's backed by the Hollywood elites. It's backed by Soros. It's backed by huge billionaire investors. Bill Gates is in that consortium. Pelosi's a billionaire. Schumer's a billionaire. Elizabeth Warren, uh, Weasel Schiff, they're all a part of this coalition because they want to take away your rights. That's why they're trying to get Trump off the ballot. They don't think that you and me, the American public, know what's best for us. They think they know what's best for us. So, I mean, I don't know how they're going to pick an impartial jury. How? How are you going to pick an impartial jury? So moving forward, we got a lot more coming. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay. Let me get to the awesome, awesome super chats and super stickers. If you have any question, if you haven't already, please tap that thumbs up. I love you guys so much. I love my country more than anything. It is my purpose. I feel it's my God's given purpose to do this, to expose, to raise awareness. This is the most consequential year of our Lord, of, of our Republic as well. And mainstream media is not talking about this because it doesn't fit the narrative. Chad Hudson, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Lion Dog Face Pony Soldier, probably the greatest YouTube name of all time. Thank you so much for the 199 super sticker. I really appreciate you. Isla, thank you so much for the 199 super sticker. You are awesome. I am of the people, B O R, $10 super chat. I believe. Thank you so much. I am of the people, B O R. I believe that Judge McAfee gave them a complete blueprint to Trump's defense to completely overturn this case and to have both their license and to prove criminal charges. Very well said. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people, and I think I was one of them, just because I was just so upset. You know, I was asleep and I'm in California. So three hours behind, my wife woke me up. She got the news alert because we have kids. We wake up pretty early. It was like 530 in the morning. And my wife woke me up and said, you won't believe it, but she's basically going to get off. 
And so my initial reaction was rage. Uh, was I mean, not rage. I don't really get rageful, but it was anger. I was very upset because this is a definite miscarriage of justice. But you bring up a really, really good point. I am of the people BOR. Perhaps there's enough to go off of there, and which is why the Sadow, the Pitbull Sadow, perhaps that's why the Pitbull Sadow actually commented on that. And maybe that's why Maybe that's why he uh, he said the odor of mendacity. So that's really interesting. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Uh, way up north, how many of these do I need to buy to claim I have you on retainer? <laughs> way more, brother. I am not cheap. <laughs> We're talking thousands more. <laughs> Stephen Mankin, thank you so much for the $2 super chat, super sticker. That is awesome. I really appreciate that. Judy Franklin, uh, I hope I'm saying this right, Mazik. Thank you so much for the $4.99 super sticker. You rock. The Real A-Dog. Thank you so much, The Real A-Dog. He has a phenomenal channel. He is so talented. Go check him out. The Real A-Dog. Keep up the good work, Nez. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Diana Hernandez. God bless you, Diana, for the $19.99 super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diana Hernandez. I really, really appreciate that. Everything goes back. That's not easy, producing, uh, getting the lighting right, the camera, the editing, the production, quality, distributing, networking, uploading, thumbnail design, graphic design, marketing. This is not an easy thing. People think, oh, you just go live and you just, you don't have a video. No, no. I do tons of due diligence, tons of qualitative and quantitative research because mainstream media doesn't care about us. It doesn't fit the narrative. They don't cover 99% of the stuff that I talk about which is why I want you to be a part of this channel, which is why I want you to be a member, which is why I want you to tap the pin comment and become an insider. It's free, our Nez Nation Insider Newsletter, so you never miss out. Thank you so much, Diana. Elizabeth Rogers, thank you so much for the $10 super sticker. Thank you, Elizabeth, appreciate you. Aaron with the $9.99 super chat says, hope you're right about, the, about them not being finished. With Fanny, her letter was a troll to her opposition. The judge is, yeah, it was very well said. It was a troll to her opposition. The judge is enabling her by allowing her to lie to his face under oath and get away with it. Aaron, that's so well said. I can tell you're a true patriot. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much. I am of the people, BOR. Thank you so much for another $2 super chat. All of it is layered out by McAfee. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think I think you bring up an excellent point. I am of the people. I think you do. And I hope that Sadow and company follows through because it definitely sounds like Kauser is. Um, we have Michelle Clark with a $5 super chat. Shouldn't the defense file a motion to suppress the findings from Nathan Wade? Well, the hearing's over. I mean, there's there's no other there's no other motions that can be filed. The judge made his ruling, the hearing's over. Now, there's going to be an appeal, and I'm sure things are going to be done differently. They're probably going to ask for, if they do reopen the case, I would be shocked if they didn't uh, uh, subpoena text messages and cell phone data between Wade and Willis. I'd be shocked if they didn't do that. I don't think they were allowed to in this disqualification hearing because it actually technically wasn't a trial. It was a hearing, a disqualification hearing. It had to be volunteered. But if Senator Kausert has some pull, which I think he does, he may subpoena uh, 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 Cash Money G. Willis and Nathan Philandering Wade and maybe even subpoena those records. I don't know. Because it'll be a different charge. He has no constitutional right over disqualifying her from pursuing Trump but he does have a obligation to his constituents. How did they use that taxpayer money? How did they use that taxpayer money? Did they misappropriate funds, the taxpayer funds? Absolutely they did. WK Prospecting, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Yep, FJB, you better believe it. If we want our country back, I'm telling you right now, if Kami Kamala wins, I mean, it's not really Biden's in the, in the dirt. I mean, he's taking a dirt nap. This country's done. It's finished. Summer Duggan, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Uh, I think even Democrats are waking up. Look at Joe Rogan as a perfect example. Lion Dog, Joe Rogan vote for Bernie Sanders in 2016. I mean, think of how 
smart his evolution has been. I was a Democrat 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was a Democrat. Maybe even longer than that, maybe 15 years ago. But then I finally woke up, you know, because this is all BS. Lion dog face pony soldier. I think that I'm more centrist now than anything. I think that it is a bad idea to relinquish local control of DAs to the state of Georgia. It will lead to abuse of local DAs that fight for justice. You know, you bring up a really good point. I think this bill is definitely aimed towards Fannie Willis um, because it's just so egregious. But you're right. I hope that doesn't impugn upon honorable DAs who are actually doing the right thing. And I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of red tape to even pursue Fanny through these new bills, but we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you, Bag Lady 68 for the $10 super sticker. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. Dog Boy, thank you with the greatest profile picture on YouTube. <laughs> 9,000 watching, pretty impressive, dude. Thank you so much. We had 20,000 watching. We were live on the trial. But it is Saturday. People are still asleep. Or I mean, it's family time for crying out loud. I got to take my son to a baseball game. In just a second, Jana Porter. Yes. Congratulations for becoming a brand new member. Congratulations, Jana Porter. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the family. It's great to actually have you with us. Thank you. Welcome. And, and, and congratulations on becoming a new member. Love you. You're going to have an absolute blast. So awesome. Welcome. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have Puppet Gate. Puppet Gate with the $5 super chat. New sub. I like that. Puppet Gate. I'm going to have to check out your channel. New sub. I love your channel. I make hilarious political puppet satire. Awesome. Fantastic. I'm going to check out your channel. Absolutely. That is so cool. Michael Martin. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. That is so awesome. Welcome to the Nez Nation family. All of your support. So you get extra perks. You get extra perks. You get a badge next to your name. You get Gibbs first response, priority top uh, re re uh, comments. You get uh, top priority in the live stream, in the chat, in the comments, as well as we're going to have an exclusive live stream for members only. We're going to have exclusive content for members only. So you're in the money. You're in the money. Good job, Michael. Welcome to the team. Okay. How do you like my applause? Uh, uh, my applause. I think that's awesome. Thank you so much, Don Bauer, for the nine ninety nine super chat. You are awesome. Does anybody have any quick questions right now? So, just to wrap up, really, really quickly. Yeah, Rob, I'm kind of with you on that. I usually vote Republican, but I call myself conservative. There are some Republicans who really suck. There really are. There's, I mean, there, there's swamp on both sides. And the fact that Romney and now Pence, I mean, these guys don't understand the gravity of the situation. And I wouldn't vote for Trump even if I was gasping on my last breath. I mean, they don't understand the gravity of this situation they don't understand what we're going through as a freaking country. I mean, they just don't understand what's happening here. Guys, there's 8,000 of you in here, but we only have 4.8 4 thousand uh, likes. Please, it takes you a nanosecond. It's free. Just tap that thumbs up. That way we can reach more people. Just tap it right now. Tap it right now. If you got to leave, leave, but tap it before you go, please. I really, really appreciate you. God bless you. You'll get many blessings just by tapping the thumbs up. Um, I'm with you on that because... Uh, there's so many bad actors. I mean, they don't understand the severity of our country, what our country is going through. There's just, this is like, it's not even a matter of, look, I have a lot of personal problems with Trump. I have a lot of personal problems. I think he needs to just shut the F up and just do his job sometimes, half the time maybe. Um, I liked him in the debates though. I thought he destroyed Tombstone Biden in the debates. I didn't believe all that crap about, oh, he was interrupting. You're supposed to interrupt when you call BS, you bunch of weaklings, weak men running this country. Um, we need strong men with balls like Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, I wish there was a, a young 40 to 50 year old Theodore Roosevelt. Should I run? Should Nez run for president? Maybe I should run for president. I got balls. I'm not afraid to say it. Well, Sometimes, <laughs> um, but I'm just so, I'm just so shocked at, 
I mean, they don't understand the gravity of the situation. It's fine that you don't like them, but look at the policy. I like what Jamie Dimon said, the CEO of Chase. He goes, look, you don't have to like him, but you have to admit if you take a step back and just breathe and just relax, things were pretty good under Trump. China was good. The economy was good. Uh, you know, we didn't have all these issues. There was no wars. Um, the stock market was great. Um, businesses felt, uh, investors felt confidence. Um, you know, I mean, interest rates were awesome. I mean, you just, it's not about the personality all the time. Um, if you think Nez should run, type in Nez run in the, uh, uh, in the chat right now. If you think Nez should run for president, I love my country so much. I might just do the stupidest thing I've ever done, which is try to run. I mean, I probably won't win, but, uh, I think I love my platform too much. I think that's why Tucker Carlson, there was talks about Tucker Carlson becoming a VP pick. And he was like, hell no, because he loves his, his platform's more powerful. Actually, his platform is more powerful. And I have to give this up. I don't want to give this up. Because I enjoy bringing the truth to what mainstream media doesn't cover, what legacy media won't talk about. We need to raise awareness. This whole thing with Tyson Foods hiring illegal aliens now, that's not in mainstream media. They're firing Americans and hiring illegals. Can you believe it? It's driving me crazy. I just posted that on my community tab. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. It's also on Twitter. Follow me on, um, follow me on X. Um, it's just at Professor Nez on X. Follow me there if you haven't already. Uh, I'll leave a link to my, uh, I'll leave a link right here to my X, aka Twitter. Make sure you follow me here. I'm just going to put that in the chat. Hey guys, tap that thumbs up. So yeah, so going forward really quick, just a quick recap. Okay. Everybody follow me on, on X, aka uh, Twitter. McAfee ruled that it's either Fanny or Nathan Wade. Immediately after Nathan Wade resigned, resignation letter. Immediately after that, Fanny issued a letter praising Nathan for his courage and saying, of course, she's going to stay on the case because that's her mission. She's here for the people, which is a bunch of BS. LLH, lion, lion, heathen. Sadow says there's enough language in there. Somebody brought this up in the chat that the odor of mendacity remains, meaning you can't trust these people, which is absolutely correct. There's enough language in the ruling that warrants reopening, appeal, et cetera, et cetera. Kausert, who is the committee chair of the Senate Judiciary, uh, is saying that he's going to continue to pursue this, that we're not happy with Fannie Willis. We think she's done terrible things. She's made the confidence in the justice system in Georgia dwindle i mean to put it mildly right nez for prez <laughs> ruggins thank you ruggins 62 I, I i'm telling you right now i would fire i would pull i, I would fire probably 90 percent of people in the government right now and i would make that budget a surplus in less than two years i'm telling you right now because i'd fire 90 percent of the useless government that doesn't do anything they don't do anything um so so there's a lot to come we know there's going to be appeals is there actually going to be a trial date? Is there actually going to be a jury selection? And y'all know who's going to bring it to you. Your boy, Nez. Your boy, Nez, is going to bring it to you. So, um, yes, Tyson Company has many, many different... If you go to my... If you go to my... Um, if you go to my community tab you will see that uh, if you just got here, Sierra, you missed a lot. We're about to end it here. I love you guys. Um, I'll take a couple of questions from non-Super Chats, but uh, we just got here, and uh, we're just about to end, and I'm telling you, Nez, run for Congress. I'm telling you right now, this thing's long from over because there's definitely going to be, I don't know how they could even engage in a, I don't even know how they could engage in a fair jury selection, but I mean, they say they're going to. Max Kramer, Max Kammerer, sorry. Do y'all think Trump would go through all this without some backup? Military has his back with their plan. Pray we get all the traitors. We must help them. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's even talks that, you know, Schiff brought up this, you know, weasel Schiff, pencil, pencil neck weasel Schiff brought up this uh, LLH. Yeah. Everybody type LLH, lion, lion, heathens. Um, you know, they're, they're going to try to basically not obey if Trump, I mean, they're already putting in these parameters because they, they really feel strongly that he's going to win because Biden is an absolute train wreck. I mean, Biden is an absolute, he was all hopped up on white stuff 
for the State of the Union. And in the words of Stephen A. Smith, you actually think that's going to offset the next 40 years when he's going to turn 86, 87? You think he's going to even make it to next year? I still think, and I've said this before, I still think there's a strong chance that uh, Greasy Gavin Newsom steps in, their new all-star, who to me, look, I've been around a lot of sleazy salesmen in my life. I've worked corporate jobs, public sector, private sector, et cetera, et cetera. I've been around sleazy people. I'm sure you have too. There is no more sleazy person. He fits right in with Kami Kamala. Kamala's the worst. She's absolutely the worst. Don the Con Lemon is right up there too. He's the worst too. But Newsom, when you look in his eyes, there's no soul there. I mean, this guy lies like a black belt. He has a black belt in BS. And he's destroying my state. He's absolutely, it's already destroyed my state. It's so sad what's happened to my state. Um, I love California. I love the weather. I love everything about it. And he's absolutely destroyed it. He's absolutely destroyed it. Guys, there's 8,000 of you in here. Please tap the thumbs up. Tap it. Tap it real quick. It's a nanosecond. doesn't cost you a thing. Just tap that thumbs up right now. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I think they're still going to bring in Gre Greasy Gavin. I would not be surprised if they brought in Greasy Gavin because I don't think that Biden's a train wreck. I don't think he's going to make it. I really genuinely don't think he's going to make it. So a lot of stuff to cover. We are seven, less than eight months away from the most consequential election of our republic since 1861. And you know your boy Nez is going to bring it to you. Everything that legacy media won't cover, that mainstream media won't cover, I'm going to bring it to you. I do my own due diligence. I do my own quantitative and qualitative research. I love my country. I want my kids, my grandkids, my great, 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 great grandkids to flourish in this awesome country. There's a reason why everybody comes to America. You don't see people pouring into China or pouring into Russia. It's the greatest country on earth. We have a duty. I feel it. It's my purpose. It's my God's given purpose to raise awareness. We have to raise awareness because mainstream media won't cover this. So subscribe, tap the thumbs up. In the pinned comment is our free insider. Become a Nez Nation insider. It's free. Tap that link, click on newsletter, put your best email, and you're in. You're a part of the greatest community on planet Earth. We're going to get our country back. I love you guys. I love you, love you, love you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. As always, God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless America. I'll see you very, very soon.